Welcome back to the Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. Hello there, Mr. Jew. Hello, hello. Okay, this week we're going to be talking a little bit about sine wave. Oh, the infamous sine wave. Everyone sine loves wave. talking about sine wave. All right, all right, what is it? Uh, I guess the question is the intermediate positions of sine wave. What? And um, <laughs> like, like if the legs are straight, what do we do with that? Uh, well, there are definitely rules on mm -hmm. that, right? So what is sine wave? I think that's kind of what that discussion is all about. I, I think it's just a natural way that we move. And mm. it's not necessarily really big really sm or really small. It could be small. It could be big. I mean, sine wave happens when you run, when you mm. walk, when you... Any movement that you actually do, you actually create this sine wave. And what does that mean? That means you're... You're at a high point and you go to a lower point, just like walking. You kind of, when you move forward, you kind of go to a high point and then you go down to the low point. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what sine wave is, right? And so you were saying about, well, what do you do when your leg is locked out, right? Yeah. And so that's um, what we say in sine wave. If your knees are bent, then we use knee spring. So you bend your knees only. Your feet does not come off the ground. Your heel doesn't come off the ground. Mm -hmm. However, if your leg is locked out, mm -hmm. like you're standing straight up and down, then it's heel raising. So you lift up and down. So it's this idea of you get move, utilizing your body weight. You're moving mm -hmm. it up and then you're lowering it. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get your maximum power. So when you drop your weight, that's where you can get, you're, you're utilizing your body a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can help increase your power. So sine wave has an actual like degree to it, where we bend and extend that knee, right? If we extend the knee too much, like 180 degrees, then it's more like sawtooth wave, correct? Correct, so your knee should never lock out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it becomes more like a sawtooth wave. Or if the knee is too much bent, then it's more like a horizontal wave. If you maintain that, that knee bend throughout the technique, then it's horizontal mm -hmm. wave because your body's not going up. Right, no, I think if you bend it more though, because like if I'm moving forward, so my knee's bent like this and I move forward and I'm maintaining the same height, the, the knee cannot. But sometimes you see sine wave where people go down too far. Right. It shouldn't be more than 30 degrees, I believe. Mm -hmm. Right. The, the sine wave, you shouldn't bend your knees more. So when you're not moving, like you're in a sitting stance, you bend your knees not more than 30 degrees, and then mm -hmm. you come back up, but you do not lock out your leg, mm -hmm. and then you go back down, mm -hmm. not more than mm -hmm. to the proper position, right? And that's what kind of defines sine wave. I think when you talk about horizontal wave, that's a, usually only occurs when, well, okay, is that, a wave or not a wave. So if I'm just in a sitting stance and I'm punching and I'm not moving my knees at all, mm -hmm. I guess that's horizontal wave, mm -hmm. right? And if you're moving, your, your head or your body stays in that same position as you move forward. Right. And so your knee is basically kept in that same position. Mm -hmm. Right. It doesn't go up and down. You, didn't, you don't bend your knees. Is that mm -hmm. what you're saying? A little bit. A little bit. Well, my real question actually. <laughs> okay, what's your real my question? My real question was leading up to this was like, so the sign with the knee bends about 30 degrees, right? Right. So if we look at like walking stance or let's just take the example where our feet are together and the legs are locked out. So when we like close raise, raise the stance, heel, eh? Yeah, but, or like in or walk, like walk around, around. Sure. And we raise up the heel. Mm. How high is too high? Because if you take that same idea, should it just be the 30 degrees off that floor and then down? Or do we bring it up more and then down? Do we come all the way up? And I think the same question can apply to like walking stance, like two punches fast with that back heel. How high does it come? Is that also 30 degrees? Does it come all the way up? Well, that's a good question. No one's ever asked. Yeah, sorry, I threw that on you right now. I didn't give you any time to think here. <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. I'm going to say, I mean, okay, so the encyclopedia does not talk about the degrees of the heel. How much should it be raised? We do know it comes up, right? And so when you think about that, but it does say that the, the sine wave... 
when the knees are bent should not be more than 30 degrees, I believe it is. We could totally be wrong about that, that number. It's close, though. It's close. It's, know, it's like 30 or 35. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's around that area. So if it's wrong, just know that. We're gonna look back at this later. And we're human. We're human. We're and human. <laughs> my number might not be right, but uh, yeah, stick with us on that. Yeah. And that's not easy to find, actually. No. And you, you actually have to really hunt for that one. Right, right. Yeah, it's been a while since I reviewed that. I think it is 30 degrees, though. Right. But let's just say it is, and if it's not, then... Shame on you. Shame on you, <laughs> and we'll, we'll know Never listen it, to us yeah. again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so it's not a lot, okay? And so when, like, I see some students, so they're in a walking stance and they go down. They go, they go really too far down. The knee is almost one inch off the ground. Mm -hmm. And then they come back up and then they execute the technique. It really is a little bit more subtle because oh, when we think about that 30 degrees, that, that, that front knee is bent, Mm -hmm. Right, and it's not really bent a lot, but in a walking stance, you go too far, you're bending that front knee too much, mm -hmm. right? So it has to apply to that. I think that when we, when we look at angles of when the heel is off the ground, like in rare foot stance, it's not more than uh, one inch or 2.5 centimeters, I believe it is off the ground. Mm -hmm. And so I would almost say that that's how much heel raise should be executed. Mm. But it's not stated. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. So what is right and wrong? Well, the more distance you can get, mm -hmm. you can have more power, mm -hmm. right? You can drop that weight. So if I was doing what wrong, do I need power? Well, I need power, I need speed as well, right? Should I raise it too high, go up on the tippy toe, or do I do the Michael Jackson on the toes mm -hmm. and then down? Hmm. Just natural. Right. Just natural. <laughs> Just natural. <laughs> and does it, does it really matter? In some ways, it can matter because when you're in competition, some umpires might think that's too low. Some umpires might think, that's okay. Some people might say that's too high. Mm -hmm. But then I guess that's why you have five umpires. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you get at least a majority of them. Right. Hopefully that's not why they were, they were marking you off. <laughs> right. Hopefully it was something bigger than that. Yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. It's hard to say because, you know, people are really good and mm -hmm. you're looking for that little, you know. So it's interpretation about what you think is right or wrong. Right. I hate right. to say that, mm -hmm. but it's those details of, and what is the correct way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, okay. I mean, that's interesting because, I, so when you talk about how much heel comes off on like walking stance, yeah. you're not moving forward. You're just being in the back heel off the ground. Now take it the next stance, long stance, low stance, sorry. Low take stance. it to low stance. How high can you bring that heel up now? Not much without rocking the body forward. Right, because it's so much longer. But it's possible to do like a fast or connecting or whatever Yeah. in a low stance. And mm -hmm. so how high is that heel going to come up? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's not going to be as high as um, walking stance. Mm -hmm. Right. You could try. Yeah. Right? I haven't tried before. I don't even think my low stance is low enough. It's, it's kind of too, too yeah. long of a stance. Most, most people, it's not. They go, what stance is that? Are you sure? Is that, looks like a that? walking stance. Looks like a short walking stance. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly longer walking stance there. Okay, well, let's ask another question I have about like sine wave. And this is going to be for like walking stance. Okay. Let's just take two punches here. I see here the first one, my foot is pointed out 25 degrees. Oh, in the back boy. one. Here we go. Now I do the second <laughs> punch. As I do that, do I turn that standing foot forward and then back and then <sighs> set it back down? Or does that hand just come straight back and then forward? Hmm. Well, does okay. that make sense? Yeah, that makes okay. sense. That makes sense. Got to make sure they understand. Right. I know what you're saying because I teach it. I teach this idea a little bit differently, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so when we're in walking stance, we're not moving forward. You execute 
Let's say the first technique, you move forward into left walking stance and you execute a four fist punch. Well, the sine wave is down, up, down, down. because you're moving. The second technique, we'll assume it's a regular movement and not a fast motion, right? Mm -hmm. And so my heel would come off the ground, my knee would drop a little bit, so I kind of go down, up, down. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the knee is bent. But as I do that, mm -hmm. because my back foot is at a 25 degree angle, I'm dropping my knee down a little bit, I'm squaring off my body like I was gonna move forward. That's the way mm -hmm. I always kind of teach it. Right. Is I was going to move forward, but I couldn't move forward, so I went up and I execute the technique, and so I drop my heel back down to a 25 degree angle. Right. And so when you do that, what happens to the back foot is actually pushes forward. Because I always kind of think of it like <clears throat> if I was in a run, if I was going to, let's say the running blocks, which way do I want my foot? Is forward. it forward or, yeah, or sideways? You want it forward. Right. And so that's the way I kind of think of it. The second technique, I'm not moving forward, but I pull my, my rear foot straight forward so that it's like I'm shooting forward. Right, right. But then I don't shoot forward. Mm -hmm. So I just go up and then I drop down. That's why my foot moves forward and then back into the... Not everyone does that. Right. Right? Some people just go up on the big toe and then they back down. Mm -hmm. Getting back to your question about the fast motion, because in some ways, the fast motion el eliminates the second down, the second down or the relaxed position because it's too fast. We don't mm -hmm. have time to relax and execute the technique. Mm -hmm. It's one two, yeah. right? So the first sine wave, we go as we move forward, go up and down, mm -hmm. and then then you come up and you execute the technique. My hands already executed. My other hands already moving to for the next punch so it's that fast motion right right and so now i don't necessarily need i can't i don't have time to position my foot i'm just mm -hmm. already winding up i don't go into this relaxed position i don't mm -hmm. do you understand right. i just wind up and i execute the technique so then in that case i would not say the back foot should move forward at all mm -hmm. it just goes up and then back down right right are we running out of uh More, camera you, battery here well, oh you so know, I thought you were going to say you're running gonna... out of ideas no, on sine no, waves. No, no, no. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up there. Battery. Yeah. Anyways, let us know your guys' thoughts on sine wave. And as always, don't forget to be safe. Keep training. And we'll see you guys next time. Take one.